Hi, I'm going to show you how to load and run R as part of this course to run R and other programming languages in an HPC environment taught by these three centers focusing on Lunark and the Cosmos cluster. The learning objectives is that you're able to find the module to be able to run R and then load it. Then run the R interpreter where you can type in your R code um, get the list of installed R packages that you have available already and run an R script from the command line. So in a bit more schematic fashion that looks like this. Um, you see the numbers, those indicate the exercise with it. First exercise 1 we're going to find an R module using module spider. In 2 we're going to load an R module using module load. In 3 when we have loaded the R module we can actually start R and use the R interpreter using the command R, literally capital R. In the interpreter we can start it, we can uh, say hello or do trivial things, load a package that's installed, um, see the list of installed packages and, and stop the R interpreter. F and lastly we're going to run an R script using <laughs> the software called R script. Um, and then, and that then we can do everything with R. So to load an R module, there are some slight differences between the centers, but not too big. Like module spider will get you there. So you can already see in all the three spiders uh, centers, module spider R is how you find which R, uh, which modules for which R versions are installed. So Lunark has these three R versions installed. Um, one thing it al already says here, if you want more detailed information for a specific version, for example version 4.4.1, you type module spider R slash and then the version. Um, so this, if you want to load an R module of a specific version, then you do exactly that. So you do module spider R slash version, for example, module spider r slash 4.2.1. Not a dot at the end, this is something else. This is like uh, the end of a sentence. And it looks a bit like this. So here we have done module spider r for a specific version. It describes a bit what, what it is about. And it says you will need to load all these modules before you can do it. So you need to load these two modules first and then this one. And then you have loaded R 4.2.1. So to load an R module, um, then exactly you do what is what I just said. Load the, the, the these two prerequisite modules and then load R with that version. And then look something like this: module load GCC slash version open MPI slash version R slash version. Um, this should only be one time this version. This doesn't hurt, but it should be not, it should be removed. So now we've loaded a module to be able to use R of our favorite version. Now it's time to use it, and we're going to first use the R interpreter. So R is an interpreted language, and we um, and there's a program that interprets your your code. And um, when you type in stuff, it will say something back. So we're going to start the R interpreter. We're going to say something, as for example, we print the world hello. Uh, we're going to see which packages are installed. We're going to load the package. And we're going to stop the R interpreter. So, uh, how you start the R interpreter, you write literally capital R enter on your terminal. And then it looks something like this. So, it will say a lot of things about the version that has just been loaded. And here we have a prompt where you can type whatever you like that is R. And you can type there uh, to quit R, to quit the R interpreter. So in this R interpreter you can do everything that is R. We are going to do a trivial R thing with the, with the f emphasis on trivial because we should only do lightweight things. And that is because on our cluster, in this case Cosmos, when we've logged in we are on a login node. And this is a remotely accessible computer shared with many other users. This means if we do hard stuff all other users are affected. So don't do that. Instead submit 
that calculation as a batch job submitted to the job scheduler and this will be shown in a later session in this course so when doing only trivial things in the interpreter you can for example do print hello world and then it says hello world if in the R interpreter we type installed packages and then the function call operator the round braces then we see which packages are installed and to quit we do quit and the round braces or we do Q for some versions of R you get a, a question like this save workspace image workspace image you just type N until you know what it is all right, so we've loaded an R module, we've ran the R interpreter, but now it's time to, instead of typing our R commands all the time, we're going to use a file with R code in it, an R script. So we're going to run an R script using R script, and uh, we're going to load and uh, we're going to just run it. So to do it, you do R script and then the name of the script, for example, R script space and then hello.r where hello.r is the file name of this R script and again these scripts should only do lightweight things as in this exercise so now you have all the information you need to do the exercises and I'm um, gonna do them uh, there I am on Cosmos and our first exercise is to find an R module so for that I do module spider R, capital R, it works best if you do lowercase r, you get like also like all modules that have a lowercase r in them. So there, so we have seen that these are the R versions available in Cosmos. And the answer is correct. Now we need to load an R module. And we may I know we were going to load so this table is gone I know the version should be 4.2.1 let's double check yep um, let's, let's pretend I don't know this so I'm gonna search for this version module spider there there we have the version and then it says that we should load this first 11 GCC 11.03 and 4.14 11.3, 4.1.4. Yeah, so this command we will conclude and then we can run it. And now we have R version 4.2.1 loaded. While it, it's running, um, that is completely fine. Uh, we're going to use the R interpreter. So, exercise 301 start the R interpreter. Now let's do that. When this thing is done, great. R, enter. Now we have started the R interpreter, indeed of version 4.2.1. Now we need to check which packages are installed. That is with installed, and with tap you get autocomplete, installed packages. And now we see all the installed packages. And this doesn't look very pretty on my screen with a too big font. And uh, we're going to scroll to the package parallel because we'll be using it in the next um, next uh, exercise and indeed this the the pi the r package parallel is there um, and that that's that's the next one so now we're going to load a package and we're going to load the parallel package so to load a package in r so this is really r if i do print hello there it will say uh, what i just said it now we're going to load the library parallel let's do it there and we've done it you can also do it like this if you prefer that it does exactly the same uh, great so the exercise now to run an R script but to get there first we need to quit the interpreter uh, this is the way to do it you press N enter exercise 4 is to run an R script and then uh, get an R script and then run it so, so let's do this so to get the R script, we're going to download it. I'm just going to copy paste this command and paste it here. Enter. And wget means uh, download. And this is the URL for the R script. The R script is called hello.r. And I can put it on screen already here. And we see it's a very simple, trivial R script. But it's an R script. 
to run it we need to use run our script of that thing there tap for all to complete and there we have run an R script yeah and um, it uh, looks exactly the same so exercise 5 is to download and extract the tarball with exercises so we just downloaded an R script called hello.r here but in the course there are more uh, scripts for exercises and we put them together in a tarball if we go on here then we see the procedure how to use the tarball with exercises and that procedure is not all too complex and there's even a video of it if you prefer uh, to find out how to do that and because it's there I'm not going to talk about this now instead I'm going to repeat our key points that on an HPC environment one needs to first find a module to to load to run R um, load one or more of those modules if you care about reproducibility you use explicit versions of the module so we've been using R version 4.2.1 um, and that's important if you want to run your script later to know that version um, we started the R interpreter using R and we've ran R script with the command R script things we have not learned yet is because we work on a login node we can only do lightweight things so if you want to do heavier stuff we need to submit a batch job we, we learn that later also we can only use the R packages that come installed with the R module there are more R packages installed already for you uh, besides the R module uh, but you need to find that software module to get even more packages available to you additionally we have not worked in an isolated environment so this means if you um, install a package or change versions then all your code is affected uh, whereas with isolated environments you can create a set of R packages of their specific versions that work together well work on those and then in the end you close that environment you open up another one and there you do an other set of packages with their own versions in isolation that's also a later session in this course um, yeah and that will be discussed in the other sessions with that I want to conclude this video how to load and run R in an HPC environment for this course uh, with a focus here on Lunarx Cosmos I wish you a very good day. Bye.